Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So excuse my hair, it looks crazy. I just washed it a little bit ago. But um, I decided to film a smoky eye for summer look. I recently got some new products, so I decided to go ahead and also um, do first impressions on those in this video too. And I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with putting my hair back. So I have this, um, I don't know how to say it in English, gancho. And I'm gonna pin my hair back. Okay. All right, that's good. And I already have clean hands. I just wet my beauty blender. I'm gonna start off with primer. I'm gonna use my Benefit Professional first. And I'm just gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna dot this on my T-zone area. I'm going to take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm going to put about this much on each eye and I'm going to blend upwards and then I'm going to take a little bit more and put it underneath my eye. Then I'm going to take, this is my e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer, it's in the blue bottle, and it's pretty moisturizing other than the fact that it smells terrible and the consistency is really weird, so I'm still trying to give it a chance, Ugh, I just can't get over the smell, but we'll see how I like it. All right, so my face is primed. I'm gonna go ahead. All right, so my face is primed. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with foundation. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is in the color Shell Beige. Beige. And I think I might be this color. Maybe like on my body. But I'm just taking a pump of this and then to sheer it out just a little bit, I'm gonna take my True Match Lumi. All right, just like that. I'm gonna take my foundation brush. Mm. Yeah. I mean, cause this kind of dries like pink on me a little bit, so. And I have yellow undertone skin. Hopefully it doesn't do that. And I'm not I, I'm not gonna leave I'm not gonna put any concealer here because I got a new concealer yesterday. I finally went to Sephora after like a solid three months because I was spending a lot of money and you know, I need to be responsible. So I was like, uh I'm gonna have to stop doing this, but I finally got something. I figured I kind of deserved it because I didn't cuss it. So. Alright, so I have my beauty blender. I'm going to blend this out. And I feel like this process takes a long time, like applying it with your foundation brush or any brush really and then going over with your beauty blender. But for me personally, it really makes a difference because I feel like my skin looks less cakey and I don't have to use as much product anymore. And I just, I really, as much as I love makeup, I like for my skin to still show through. So this method helps me get the coverage I want without looking crazy. 
And I filmed a look like this earlier, but I hated how the smoky eye turned out. So. I figured since I got something new, I might as well redo this video because I didn't like the way the other one turned out. So, got some stuff at Sephora. And I got the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I got the sample size because I'm broke. And this is in the color Light Neutral. This is the lightest color I could find. It's probably my skin color, but whatever. So, this is what it looks like. And my sister actually recommended that I get this, but... I don't want to get the whole thing because it's like a lot of money. I'd rather just get the small sample size and test it out. But I heard it was amazing. So it comes with a Dofa applicator. I've also seen this on YouTube. You know what? This is a little bit like pink undertoned. I don't know. Ooh. So this was like the Naked Foundation, the Urban Decay Naked Foundation, the Weightless Foundation. I used to have that. And the smell, it's like sweet. It's like chemical-y. I never liked it, to be completely honest, but... I mean, the smells up. Well, I guess I'll have to get over. Okay. So I applied this. I don't know if this is too much or not, but... We'll see. So I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to blend this out. Yeah, this is the same color as my skin. And if you can cover this pimple then It covered this pimple. Oh my god. Okay, maybe. Hmm. I'm gonna look up close. So let's see. Wow. That really covered my under eyes. And I only used a little bit. At least for me, I only used a little bit. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty. So, because of the color difference, I'm gonna just a little bit just for some brightening effect yeah but I don't think I really need it so far I'm really liking this concealer um under eyes look really good. So I'm going to take my NYC translucent powder and I'm going to bake underneath my under eye. On, I'm going to bake my under eye. I probably look cross-eyed right now. I'm like okay so I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna do so using my so I'm gonna use my this is my LA girl velvet bronzer stick and I'm going to right here right here Right here. And I'm gonna take my so I'm gonna get my foundation brush. <sighs> and 
and I love this brush to blend out cream products. So, I'm going to take, these are my Sally Girl baked eyeshadows, and they're like 60 cents, a dollar or something, I got them on sale, and I love these, so I'm going to go in, because I bought a lipstick at Sephora, so I'm going to do like something with like a nudie lips, I'm going to use... Yeah, I'll go ahead and use these three colors. And I'll list the colors down below in the description box. So I'm going to take... These are all dirty, but that's fine. Alright, so I've already set my eyelid. I'm going to go over again. With my brush, I'm going to take my concealer brush. I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer brush. And I'm going to get my... I'm going to take this, this is the Rock Nudes by Maybelline, and I'm going to take this color right here, and I'm going to put this on my eyelid. My Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush, dip into it, and I'm just going to focus this in my crease. First, this is 3A8124, so it doesn't come with the name, but this is the color. This, I'm literally just going like that, and this is the color. Hopefully you guys can see that, but these are super duper pigmented, they're beautiful. So I'm going to take my packing brush, and I'm going to start right here, just in the center of my eye. And I'm just sweeping this. I'm going to take this one. This is in the color Caramel Candy. And I'm going to put it right next to the other swatch. This is the other color. So it's pretty. has like green and brown reflexes. Packing brush. And I'm going to put this on the outer. portion of my eye. There's a little bit of fallout with these, but nothing too intense. I don't know why these are talked about more. Like, I feel like Sally's has really good cosmetics. I mean, not like Sephora or MAC quality, but I feel like for people, you know, people who can't afford like a $40 I'm taking this brush, like a $40 eyeshadow kit, like, Sally's is doing really good. And then I'm going to take this brush right here, the one with caramel candy, really packing this on my brush. because I want this kind of like wet look and this isn't fallout I touched my brush my brush is wet and I touched my bake I'm going to take this pointed blending brush fucked up or not I'll let you guys know though <laughs> because you know I'm kind of losing faith just a little bit but I feel like you know I put makeup videos on YouTube so I should know how to do this like I you know but no I'm, I'm messing up 
I'm gonna take <clears throat> this packing brush. I'm going to go into the first color that I dipped into. Oh, actually no, I'm gonna go in the color gold riddens. <laughs> this is gold. Hopefully you guys can see that. This is so pretty. I'm gonna, oh. I'm going to take this first color that we started off with and I'm going to put this between the gold and the dark colors like greeny brown. All right, keeping this here, I'm going to take my wet and wild brush, my bronzer again. I'm going to sweep this through the crease. the rock nudes again I've never really used this palette I bought it and I never use it ever so I'm gonna take this color that we started off with and a little bit of this color I'm gonna take gold riddance and pat this on the inner corner of my eye sort of like right here and then just to the middle of my eye and then I'm going to take this brown color, put this right here with my finger, just in the center of my eye. And then with this color, I'm going to pat it right here. Blend out whatever I have here. I'm going to remove the bakage I have. I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder. I'm going to take this one. This is the Chocolate Soleil and my Elf Powder Brush. Right. I'm going to take my foundation brush. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Brush. Same bronzer. And then with the brown color without a name. I'm going to take a packing brush and pack this in my lash line. So then I'm going to take the gold riddance and I'm going to put that on my pinky finger and put it right here in the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with blush, taking my powder brush. This is my Wet n Wild color icon in the color Rosé Champagne. I'm gonna go in with brows, taking my usual products for my brows. So I'm gonna do my concealer underneath. And I'm gonna use my Boing concealer. And I'm gonna take the lighter shade of the two. I'm gonna spray my face with some Smashbox Primer Water. I'm gonna go over everything with my beauty blender. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to highlight. I'm going to take my foundation brush, my e.l.f. highlight in Moonlight Pearls. And then I'm gonna take this brush right here. It's like a small little brush. I'm gonna pack this in the areas where I want just a small amount of highlight. And then I'm gonna take this is the Bitsy eyeshadow in pink icing. Let's get into this. And... Alright, next is mascara. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic. And I'm going to put this on my top and bottom lashes. Now I'm going to take my, this is my Voluminous Original Mascara by L'Oreal. This 
this is in black. So now, lips. I'm going to take, so I got this yesterday and so before. This is the Tartist, Tartiste. This is the Later Graham Tartiste Lip Crayon and the Matte Lip Paint. It doesn't have a name. The colors do not have names. I looked everywhere on the packaging, no names. So this is the lip liner. I already hate the lip liner because the little thingy fell and I tried to like crush it. Like, like I don't know if you guys can see, but like I tried to like squish it back onto the applicator. It's not working, but I'm going with this color. And then I'm going to take this color, so this actually didn't come in this package, my sister got another package and this color came in it because I didn't like the color that, the, that this one that I got came with it, so we swapped. So the lip liner helped it look a lot more crisp, but the color itself... I'm gonna give a chance. I just feel like I need more color on my face, like more pink. So I'm gonna take my, my blush again and go in. Okay. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you soon.